Good morning and uh, many thanks. I will say, dear all, it's uh, with a great pleasure that I will come to you today to the launch of this first Desira Projects webinar. I hope really you are all fine, whatever you are in the world. Uh, let me say that I'm very happy to start this soon session after our, I would say, strangest summer with uh, these events. The subject that we are discussing today, it's more topical than ever. I don't want to remind you how the COVID health crisis has brought on the economic crisis, has, has exacerbated uh, all the discussion of food security, the nutritional crisis. And so the subject that we have today on the table, it's more relevant than, than ever. We have discovered how food is uh, a life force for our families, our culture, our communities. But we have also realized how often <laughs> changes in the way of food is grown, processed, distributed, consumed are so important. So clearly this topic is more than important than ever. I think you know all of you that uh, last May the European Union has adopted the European Green Deal. It's uh, clearly an initiative that provides an action plan to boost the efficient use of resources by moving clearly to a clean circle economy, restore biodiversity and the cat pollution. As you know, in the main stand of the Green Deal, we have also the Farm to Fork initiative. And the thesis initiative that is, uh, of course, the first priority for Europe, but has also an impact in our international cooperation, is uh, in some way, the objective, the challenge is to have a healthier and more sustainable EU food system that will be the cornerstone of the European Green Deal. So look to the European food system. It's a, a strategic point in which we want to achieve a new, a better balance of the natural food system and the biodiversity with the objective to protect our people's health and well-being, and at the same time also to increase the European Union competitiveness and the resilience. So it's uh, really something that will be the priority of the priority uh, of this new commission to promote a global transition where the European Union and its partner going from countries to organization, from a university to farmers, work together, all together, towards a sustainable food system. Now, the DESIRA program, the DESIRA initiative, that we are on the table today, I have not to mention what the DESIRA is, of course, the development of smart innovation through research in agricultural initiative. It's, uh, I would say, the program that fit perfectly into the new Commission ambitious agenda. This initiative, of course, was already launched in uh, 2017 in our Planet Summit in Paris. Clearly, you know very well that this initiative put research at its core, <laughs> link innovation to fight climate change and to support the national research capacity. It's an initiative that contributes to the continental and the global governance of research, but it's an initiative that wants holds to build strong partnership between research organizations at the European level and between Europe and the development countries. It also contributes to the assessment and the fostering of agricultural innovation system and national innovation policy. So this year it's clearly, it was in some light, brilliant way, anticipates 
the, the big objective uh, challenges that we will have in the future, but we are fully in the new challenges, in the new ambition of uh, Europe. As you know, it's an initiative that uh, touch all the continent, Africa, Latin America, Southeast Africa. And let me say that between 2018 and 2020, we have succeeded to allocate 270 million euro with more than 50 projects up now. I am very, very happy. I think we have achieved a great, great results. Today, it's the moment where we want to hear some projects that are part of this initiative. We want to hear the project directly from our partners. And I think this is the wonderful way to show how proudly we can work together to achieve this common aim. I said the amount that we are engaged in this first a strand of this in first two years, but let me say and let me conclude by this that uh, this program is more important than ever because it's a success. The success of the implementation of each project will define clearly the best way to do all in our future. As you know very well, we are in the middle of, in the transition of the two big financial uh, portfolio. We are ending our present uh, portfolio and we are just starting the new financial perspective, the new portfolio. And you know very well that in the new multi-annual financial framework 2021 to 2027, Research innovation will be also an important issue that is outlined there. From now, we know that we will have 10 billion that have been allocated under Horizon Europe to be invested in research and innovation related to food, bioeconomy, natural resources, agriculture, fisheries, aquaculture, and environment. So, Research innovation will be clearly a priority, will be clearly a priority in the horizon Europe, but of course we hope that it will remain a clear priority also in our international cooperation, in the cooperation with our partner countries. Of course, this will require that the partner countries will introduce this as a priority in their portfolio, in their country, uh, support, but uh, of course we hope that this is something that uh, will uh, happen. But now, even than ever, once again, the successful implementation of this first um, project of the DESIRA will be essential.